What's going on, everybody? My name is Stuff is Stuff, and I'm here with another This Week in Retro. If you follow the retro community closely, you've probably heard of the Big 20. It's been gaining traction more and more each event, but if the NES is not your thing, then you already know. Genesis does what Nintendo don't. What Nintendo don't. That's right, there's a Sega race called the Mega 16 and it's put on by a group that goes by Sega Crew. This was originally started by a Twitch user named the Motherbrain86 and now it's on their 7th year. If you're unfamiliar with how marathon races work, for this race there are 16 games chosen and each game has a different goal. This year's games and goals are as follows. Blades of Vengeance, beat the game. Space Harrier 2, beat stages 1 and 2 on easy. NBA Jam, single game victory. The Bernstein Bears camping adventure, beat the game on easy. Trampoline Terror, beat stage 16. Mighty Morphin Power Rangers, beat player one scenario mode. Micro Machines, beat cue ball circuit and qualify. Vector Man 2, beat the game on lame difficulty. Dick Tracy, beat the brow and bonus stage. Ariel the Little Mermaid, beat the game. Generations Lost, beat the game on amateur. Tasmania, beat the game. Shout Out the Beast 2, beat the game on easy. Kadash, reach Gnome Village. Streets of Rage 3, beat Yamato Boss on easy. And Three Ninjas Kickback, beat the game on easy. So if Sega's your thing, then go check out the race. This event is always open to anyone who wants to participate, but if you want to watch it live, it's going down August 13th at 1 p.m. Eastern. That's 12 p.m. Central Time. 10 a.m. Pacific time, and it's live on the Sega Crew Twitch channel, which is linked in the description below. Speaking of the Big 20, if you're not familiar, this is the 15th year for the event, and it's a marathon race where 20 NES games are chosen by community votes. Then goals are decided for each game. Runners are given six weeks to learn the games, then everyone gets together and races. The games and goals this year are as follows. Super Mario Brothers beat World 5-4. Ninja Gaiden beat Stage 4-4. Mega Man beat three Robot Masters any percent. Darkwing Duck beat four stages. Star Tropics beat Chapter 2's Octopus. Contra beat Stage 4. Konami Code is allowed. Batman the Video Game beat Stage 3. Crystallis get the Fire Orb. Super Mario Bros. 2 beat Claw Grip. One Warp. Blaster Master beat Area 3. The Japanese version is being used for Blaster Master since you get unlimited continues. Kid Icarus, beat stage 3-4 boss. Password can be used. The Legend of Zelda second quest, get 4 Triforces, up plus A is allowed. DuckTales, beat the game any percent. Battletoads, beat Surf City 100%. Castlevania, beat death any percent. Screen scroll glitch is allowed. Little Samson, floating castle, password can be used. Chippendale Rescue Rangers, beat the game any percent. Zelda 2 The Adventure of Link, Beat P1 and P2, up plus A is allowed. Super Mario Bros. 3, beat World 5 and 6, any percent. And Mega Man 2, beat Wily stages on normal, any percent. Password can be used. This is also open to anyone who wants to join, and there are already over 100 participants this year. The live race is happening on September 17th at 1 p.m. Eastern, that's 12 p.m. Central, 10 a.m. Pacific and can be watched on the Best of Nest Twitch channel linked below. Next, I'd like to take a moment to recognize an awesome human in the retro community. Their name is MTK Woodworking. This person does so many amazing things, from building custom split pedals used for speedrunning, to awesome controllers, controller-mounted cameras, ROM hacks, music, and much more. Everything they do is well thought out and always top-notch. Go check them out at their Twitch channel linked in the description. You will not be disappointed. Some new Super Punch-Out codes have recently been discovered. These codes are two button combinations to access. Two of these were already known, those being the sound test and the Japanese name input codes, but two more have been found. A Twitter user by the name of Unlisted Cheats posted them on August 8th. To access the new codes, at the title screen and using the second player controller, you will hold Y and R, then press A or Start. This screen will appear. This allows you to select any character to have a single match with. All of the fighters are able to be chosen. This includes the special circuit characters too. Now is the really interesting part. If you then hold B and Y at the character info screen and press A or start, the character that is usually controlled by the CPU can now be controlled with the second controller. That's right, a two player mode is secretly hidden in Super Punch-Out. If you'd like to check out the full post, it's linked below. Last but certainly not least, a huge speedrun bounty has recently been claimed. 
A YouTube member who goes by Penguin Zero, also known as Moist Critical on Twitch, set a bounty on June 24th, 2022. They offered 5,000 USD to the first person to complete Halo 2 Deathless Run. But not just a Deathless Run, and the Lasso playlist for the Master Chief Collection. The Lasso category stands for Legendary All Skulls On, but this playlist has every skull turned on with the exception of the Envy Skull. Most of the skulls in Halo work against the player, but the Envy Skull is actually helpful. What it does is it makes it so when you turn on your flashlight, you go invisible. And to make sure the run was legit, it had to be streamed live. Then, on July 16th, that bounty was increased to 20,000 USD. A runner and Twitch streamer by the name of Gervalin is the only runner to have a confirmed completion of the Halo 2 Lasso run. But this playthrough had the Envy Skull active. It was largely considered to be impossible to do it without that skull. But on August 3rd, 2022, Gervalin did the impossible. We did it! <laughs> so there you go. Making them not only the only person to have a confirmed lasso completion deathless, but also the only person to complete the Halo 2 lasso playlist deathless. This is largely considered the most difficult accomplishment in FPS history. I've linked the bounty completion VOD, Gervalin's Twitch channel, and the original bounty videos below. The one thing you can't get back is your time, so thank you so much for hanging out with me. My name is Stuff is Stuff, and this has been another This Week in Retro.